Hello boys and girls, I'm back for part two of the Puddle Pail. So remember, um, Soul went down to the beach to do pick up things for his collection and Ernest was looking at collecting star puddles and square puddles and cookie puddles and all kinds of different things that he saw. But we were thinking that he was putting the water all together in a bucket and what's going to happen. So let's pick up where we left off. So Sol came back from the beach and he had, look what I got, Ernest. I got shells, feathers, little rocks, clumps of seaweed, a marble, a nutshell, a plastic dinosaur. I got a lot and I got a lot of puddles, Ernest announced, all different sizes, shapes, and colors too. So peered into Ernest's bucket, he said, what, where's all the stuff you got? So peered into Ernest's pail, your puddles have all mixed together. They look like a pail full of just ordinary water. So just ordinary dull water. There's one big puddle now, said Ernest, and Ernest and Soul Puddle. That's the weirdest collection I've ever heard of, Soul replied. What can you do with the puddle? Well, they're looking at their reflection, their soul, and there's Ernest. So maybe it's a cool thing to have a pail full of water that can have different shapes and colors. I'm thinking of something, Ernest carried his pail carefully as they started for home. I know, said Soul. you can help me wash the sand off of all my new collections. You can wash your own collection, said Ernest. I think of something, I'm thinking of something else to do with my puddle. You can clean your own bucket full of stuff. Ernest set his puddle pail on the grass and sat down to swing. While he was swinging, his puddle slowly turned from gold to pink. The clouds swam in and out of it like fishes. So he was swinging and his pail was, had a reflection of the sky. So it looked like, looked like, fishes jumping out of his bucket. How cool. So, when night fell, stars collected in the puddle pail and a little piece of the moon. Ooh, look how pretty. So at night, you see that cool? His pail had stars and sparkly things from the sky stars and even a little piece of the moon in his puddle pail. Early next morning, Ernest went out to check on his pail. A thirsty dog was drinking from it. Hmm, chew, go away. You like my magic puddle soup, Ernest said. The dog wagged her tail and drank some more, leaving Ernest just enough water to paint some watercolor pictures. So look at that. The dog is drinking Ernest's puddle pail water. But that's okay. He was thirsty. She was thirsty. Ernest painted the dog and he painted some clouds and some stars and, and many different puddles. So he used the water from his pail to use to mix up his paints. Soul came by, his pail filled with flowers and acorns and leaves. I started some new collections, he said. What have you got there, Ernest? A dog, replied Ernest, and a painting collection. Ooh, said Soul. What a collection with clouds and stars and everything. I used part of my puddle collection to make it, Ernest explained. The dog drank the other part. Ernest petted the dog. He looked at the clouds and the stars and the puddles shining on the grass. 
He felt proud and happy and hungry too, since he had he had not eaten breakfast because he was so busy painting everything that he had seen and put in his puddle pail. So he remembered the stars, the flowers, the clouds, everything, and he painted pictures. So he had a picture collection. That was kind of cool, and now he's hungry. Let's go collect blackberries, he said, from the bushes down the road. Good idea. Sol grabbed his pail. Maybe we'll find some pennies on the way and some pine cones and gum wrappers. His brother liked to collect everything. And maybe some shadows too, said Ernest. Shadows, said Sol. You can't. Yes, I can collect shadows, Ernest cried. He caught one from this for a second in his pail. Look at the shadow from the butterfly flying over. So he was collecting shadows and reflections. And when it fluttered off, he and Sol filled their pails and themselves with some sweet, juicy berries. So there they are. They found the berry tree and they're getting their breakfast. The end. So this book, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit about mirrors, reflections, and shadows, and we've been talking about that in class. So I hope you enjoyed this book, boys and girls. Draw me a picture of your favorite part of the book, or maybe you can draw Ernest and Soul. I'd love to see your paintings. Teacher loves you.